what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be learning how to bring in custom icons into your swift ui app so custom icons being things like google's material design library of icons which are super popular beautiful icons uh, another library called Ionicon and another one called Awesome Icons. Uh, they're all like very mature libraries for icons. It's what you see here. And you can bring them in uh, in a type safe way, not only for images, but you can even have them be buttons. So this one here, when you tap on it, actually just changes the color of this vertical stack we've got going on. So we'll take a look at how to bring these in. Of course, they look really nice in light mode and dark mode. Uh, they're pretty synonymous with SF symbols, but there's more options here. So I'm personally a big fan of it. That all said, make sure you destroy the like button before we get started, helps out with the video. A lot of you watch these videos consistently, but don't subscribe. Make sure you hit subscribe before we get into it. Get excited, get Xcode ready. Let's talk about some Swift UI custom icons. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. If you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world, like YouTube, Instagram, Uber, and Facebook, head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available. Content includes interview prep, free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you can think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS. And I'm going to go ahead and call this Swift UI cool icons, just like that. Make sure your interface and your lifecycle are both Swift UI, and your, of course, your language uh, is Swift. So go ahead and continue. We'll toss it onto our desktop. And let me go ahead and expand Xcode. Let's hit this button to start our preview in the canvas over here. And let me also make this a little smaller so we have some more room for code. So cool. So the first thing we actually want to do is bring in the framework which allows us to really easily use you know icons uh, and buttons with different uh different backing kind of sources so material design by google ionic etc cetera, etc cetera. so i've got this uh, linked down below in the description but what we want to do is copy the link of this github repo come back to our project we want to bring it in uh, via spm swift package manager so we're going to say file swift packages add package dependency go ahead and paste in that URL and it's gonna resolve the latest version of it. You can keep all of this as is and go ahead and continue and it'll start downloading it and resolve it fairly quickly, just like that. So cool, so once you've brought that in, all we have to do now is uh, import it and use it. So let me jump back to my content view, hit Command B to build and compile, make sure uh, everything is still looking good after bringing in uh, that uh, package and uh, let's import it. So we're gonna say Swift UI, uh, font icon, just like that. And in our view here, let me go ahead and make this a little nicer. I'm gonna say uh, navigation view. We're gonna have a vertical stack in here, lowercase at T. And let me go ahead and give this vertical stack a uh, title of custom icons, just like that. And in here, we're gonna have a bunch of H stacks uh, of our actual icons. So the first one we're gonna take a look at uh, the first thing we should probably look at is how do you bring in one of these? Uh, so all you need to do is say font icon and put a dot and you'll see uh, there's actually two different kinds in here. There's button and text. Um, so let's take a look at text first. And uh, we're gonna take a look at, there's two constructors here, one with a type and one with a color. Let's do the one with the color. So uh, this one here, you first need to pass in the actual icon, then a CG float for the size and then a color. So let me just do this first, I'm gonna say, uh, let's say 45 uh, color will be dot blue. And then what do we put here? So actually there are three sources in this, as you can see here, there's a uh, awesome five solid uh, ionic or rather I, yeah, ionic, ionicon is I guess how you say that and uh, material. So I personally really like material. These are uh, Google's kind of UI uh, icons. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna go crazy in the comments since I'm building with Google icons on Swift UI but I digress here. You can pass in the code. And what's really nice is all of this is an enum. Um, so you don't have to actually like SF symbols go and find the string. Um, let's see, you wanted to show the assistant here. Um, let's go ahead and hit resume here. Let's see what that looks like. 
bear with our preview being nice and slow as per usual over here. But what we should see in just a moment is that uh, assistant icon. And what you can see is it's uh, got our blue uh, color applied to it as well as being 45 by 45. So let me put a text next to this. And I'm gonna say this is a material icon uh, assistant, assistant, just like that. And uh, let's add a spacer in between here so they're not so close to each other uh, like that. And then let me also add uh, some padding on this guy. Now let's copy and paste this and look at some more. So we saw uh, there was font icon dot text, but there's also something called font icon uh, dot button. And you can probably guess what that does. Of course, it creates a button, but there's um, a few different constructors here. So there's an initializer with uh, in the first parameter being the button icon and an action. You can have padding on here. Uh, you can have an action as well uh, as padding and insets and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna stick with a fairly simple one, uh, which is this first one here. The action is simply a closure of what should happen uh, once we tap on this. We'll do something in a moment, but this right here is once again, which icon do you want? Let's take a look at Ionicon, I guess, is what it's, what it's called. And uh, in here, you'll see there's uh, a bunch of iOS different ones. Let's take a look at uh, iOS add circle. And you'll see that one pop in right there. Uh, it's a little small because the one above it is 44 by 44. Um, so let me actually, let's do, let's do this one more time. Let's use the constructor that has a, uh, a size in it so we can actually specify it. Uh, we'll use this one right here. This is once again Ionicon, and then it's going to be iOS uh, add, I think it was circle, add circle. And this next thing here, we'll go ahead and say it's an empty closure. Next thing will be a padding, which will be, uh, we can just pass in zero. Next thing will be font size, which we're going to call uh, 44 or 45 to match the one up above. And this one's going to be a color, we're going to say pink, just like that. So uh, what's really cool about this is if you wanted to use this as like a floating action button here or, you know, just like a simple icon, um, you don't have to, you know, put the image on a button and do some weird nesting. You can use this directly because it has an action on it. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead here and do is we'll just say self.update BG equals true. Or we'll say toggle. And I'm going to make this update background as a uh, state property on here. So we'll say this is a state var, and it's gonna be false by default. And I'm gonna nest this whole vertical stack inside of a, a Z stack, so we can pop in a color. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then on this, we're gonna say background uh, is going to be color, uh, and this will be system background. And uh, if that, uh, that state property, which is uh, update BG is set. We are going to make it a different color with a ternary operator. We'll make it a uh, pink, I guess. And uh, if you go ahead and hit try again over here to get our uh, preview to be updating, let's go ahead and hit that live preview. Whenever we tap on this uh, little plus, you'll see the background color now changes uh, for our vertical stack, uh, which is what we want here. So. So you can definitely tap on it. Um, it also looks like once you tap on it, it the color blends in and the background is actually uh, on top of that button. Uh, but I digress, that's what you can do. Let's take a look at some more icons and then we'll wrap up here. So this icon uh, library is not very large, which is really nice of, uh, you can bring stuff in fairly simply and everything is type safe with uh, you know these enums. Um, and I'm super biased. I really like Google's uh, material design library here. So uh, let me go ahead and open this up again. So if we start typing this again, you're gonna see, let me just type this whole thing again because my autocomplete is being weird now. But uh, we're gonna want this one here. It's gonna be material and let's pick a, uh, uh, an actual element in here in a moment. Once again, font size will be 45 and color is going to be, this time we'll go with green. And uh, this is gonna be a material icon code. Sometimes that autocomplete decides to not show up um, what you could do is material icon code and then do the dot and that kind of forces that autocomplete to show up. And uh, there's literally tons in here. Like you can see this list. I'm not going to even bother uh, trying to go through them all. But uh, let's say if we wanted like sync, we can do that. And uh, boom, there's our sync icon. So 
Uh, what's really cool is you can scale them up. They're all vectors. So if we used uh, you know, a pretty obnoxiously large font size here, like 200, you'll see that it's nice and large and it does not uh, you know, blur or distort or anything. You can use it to your heart's content. And what I also will call out here, what I really like to do is you can use these to build out custom tab bars. And I'm gonna have a dedicated video on how to do that uh, because custom tab bars are super cool and it really makes your app uh, stand apart. So this is Ionicon. I always say that weird, Ionicon button. And uh, this button of course is add, but there you have it. So these look nice in light mode and dark mode. Let's just switch it to take a quick peek before we wrap up here. There is dark mode. And just to recap, we brought in the library via Swift Package Manager, super lightweight, super simple. You import it into uh, whatever Swift UI view you wanna use and you can use it in your view builder directly just like that. So there you have it, custom icons in your Swift UI app. If you haven't hit the like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm, for the video, for the larger channel. If you're new to the channel and have not subscribed for whatever reason, welcome, hit subscribe while you're at it, hit that bell icon to get notifications. And comment down below, what do you guys think of these icons as library? I really like material icons. I think Google's icon library is really, really well made. Um, you know, I think SF Symbols is catching up, but Google's library is like older. So they've got way more icons, but uh, what do you guys think? Love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.